unserer Unterseeboote im Karibischen Meer. So ging es wochenlang durch die schweren Winterstürme kreuz und quer durch den Atlantik. Erst mitten auf See erhielt das Boot seinen Einsatzbefehl. Beobachtung und Störung des Schiffsverkehrs in der Karibischen See. Geht vor der Küste Südamerikas erreicht. Vor uns die Inselkette der kleinen Antillen. Die Durchfahrt muss erzwungen werden. Das nächste Ziel ist Curaçao. Dort liegt Curaçao. 1000 Meter vor Willemstadt, dem Haupthafen der Insel. In langsamer Fahrt setzen wir uns wieder vom Land ab. Die Luftüberwachung ist zu stark. Es geht wieder in die offene See hinaus. Der Funker am Horchgerät stellt Schraubengeräusche fest. Mündungsklappen auf! Sind auf! Der Kommandant sieht sich den Fall nochmal an. Ein Dampfer schwankt im Fadenkreuz, ein fetter Bissen. Rohr 1, Rohr 2, los! Ein Torpedo hat gesessen. Der Kommandant lässt auftauchen. Ein schneller Rundblick. Wieder hat der Feind ein paar tausend Tonnen kostbaren Schiffsraums verloren. Die feindlichen Transporter sind vor den Torpedos unserer U-Boote nirgends mehr sicher. We have a special interview with Philip, who was stranded on the quay. Who were you with on the quay? I was with uh, another person. His name was Timothy. How did you get on the quay to begin with? Uh, as you saw in the video before, um, I, I was struck by a U-boat. We were just sailing along and we got hit by a U-boat. My mom and me were separated. Right. So, what's up with this cat? Um, this is Stu Cat. He just, he's the chef, he was the chef's cat on the boat. But since the cat just came on, Timothy said, he just came on. And he actually saved my life from a bird attack. So. Why did the birds attack you? Birds attacked me because I accidentally stepped in their nest. Right, It was right after the hurricane and I accidentally stepped in their nest. So how did the cat save you? It killed one of the birds that was trying to kill me. Well, how did you survive? You had surgery on your eyes and you can see now, but you were blind on the island, on the quay, is that correct? Yeah, Timothy died, but before he died, before the hurricane, he taught me everything to do. So like fish, he, and he also hung everything up so I could find it and how to get all the way around the island, and that's how I survived. Is there anything that you want to say about Timothy? He was a nice person. I didn't get along with him at first, but then we became friends, and he helped me survive. He's also buried on the quay, and I think of going back and finding his grave. Thank you for talking with us today. Okay, bye.